Check, check, check. Is it rolling, Bob? Okay, boys and girls, welcome to uh, a new uh, Finding Treasures in the uh, Scarborough Dudes Basement Bar. Uh, now listen, we got a new setup here. I'm not even sure where to look. Is it over there? Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm, in, I'm back in the basement, as you can see. Manage the stairs okay. And uh, the only thing is these circles there. If I held my head this way, you won't see the ring light. But I really want to try this ring light out. It's perfect for the basement. It was a gift. And if I can just keep them away from my glasses, we'll be okay. But uh, I'll, get, I'll get over that. Don't worry about it. So today... I took a quick glance around the bar and said, well, what are we going to show off today? And I don't think I've done these yet. It's going to be my uh, beer stein collection. I've got quite a few hanging up. I'm going to start off with a real easy one. Now you see, I think you can see now the lighting is so much better. That is a beaut. Shiny black. Um, and that would be Carleton University. I went there. That's I, That kind of changed my life. I got my... Uh, Tessel certificate there, and that's the thing that got me the job in Japan, which got me this house right here in uh, Canada. So uh, that's a goodie. I'm glad of that. It's a, a good size. It's pint size, decent style. I, we never, people don't use these very often. They like to have them, but they don't use them. Um, maybe I should start. Maybe I'll, I'll pick one of the other ones. Uh, now, the thing is, whenever I look at this one, I'm really disappointed because I had a very big one, which was a gift from Sir George Williams University. It was a gift from my sister and brother-in-law at the time. And um, white color, and Sir George doesn't exist anymore. Of course, it's now uh, combined with Loyola and became, can't remember the name, the new place. Uh, and that's gone, missing. And you always, you always feel bad for the ones you miss. But let's reach over and get another one. Whoop. In fact, I got two here. I've got a whole new seating arrangement. You notice the background too. You can actually see the bar now. This this is a big improvement. You're seeing the library, the bar, lots of different things there. But uh, we got two of these. These were my dad's, and they are pewter, very nice matching pair, really good handle. Now that's you could drink out of that. You could drink all night and feel quite comfortable. Glass bottom, yeah. Can we see each other? How's that working? I can't. Yeah, I think so. Maybe it's better if I do it. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of nice, you know, watching the beer go down. pair of those, they're solid, but they're they're light. I assume they're pewter. Uh, usually these things are marked. Well, let's see. Yeah, English pewter. Oh, even numbered. 898. What's the other one got? Yeah, 898. So whatever that refers to, I don't know. Sometimes there's a purity to them. But uh, very, very nicely made. So a couple of those. I'll hang them up later. Oh, gee, we're running low here. Oh, we got another pair. Hang on. Now these ones. Wow. Maybe I showed you these ones. I don't know. Sapporo. And these, this is the, uh, the Mr. and Mrs., set. That's why the big one, the small one, aren't those gorgeous? Oh boy. And this, again, this lighting really helps. So thank you, Kenji. Um, these are, I bought these at the Sapporo Brewery in uh, Hokkaido, Japan, Northern Japan. Uh, our company did a tour. You know, every year you had company trips. I got to go to Hawaii with our company. Uh, where else? Gee, actually, Banff, uh, we, uh, Vancouver, it was crazy, Canadian trip. Um, other places, but one of them was when we were economizing a trip to uh, Hokkaido. So there you go. Those are dandy. They're beautiful. It's just kind of a little baby one, but what a nice pair and in mint condition, not a scratch on the paint. Sapporo Breweries Limited draft beer. And uh, I don't have to read everything. You could uh, read it if you really wanted to. I have the feeling my son might want these, or one of them anyway. Yeah, damn fine. Okay, what have we got left? This We're almost finished. This is going to be a short one. This one, 
I'm very, very fond of. Now, in fact, this is really made for tea. There's a glass in there that, oh, I, I won't dare take it out. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous work? The, this I got from when I took the, uh, my wife and I took the Trans-Siberian Railway from uh, Yokohama, well, the ship to Vladivostok, and then all the way through to Prague, stopping in Moscow and uh, Lake Baikal and uh, where else? But it's, these are how they serve tea. You would have this as a holder and then a glass. Ooh, I'm not going to take that off. That would fit in. But look at the detail on that. That's gorgeous. I got a close up here. Pictures of, it looks like the Soviet space race, rockets going up uh, very, very nicely carved. Probably not all that expensive, a lot of little holes along here, but just if you can just concentrate on that for a bit. I absolutely love those things. So that is a real keeper. So I just happened to find a glass that fit, as I said, and uh, stuck it in there and it's been hanging, well, even the handle is nice. Hanging on the bar ever since, but we got that uh, certainly in uh, in Russia on that uh, on that trip we made way back uh, on our way to Canada. Yeah, that was part of the story of that thing. Of course, we left Yokohama by ship, a Russian freighter that was on one of its last voyages, and uh, then picked up the uh, Trans Siberian with our uh, Russian guides, of course. Uh, very strict in those days, uh, banning of alcohol, but not for foreigners. Tourists were allowed to. All right, last one. Oh. And this is probably, this is a keeper. Now, this one needs silver polish, you can see, but it's engraved. And it says, again, Victor... Uh, Lud... Ladorum. Of course, that's Latin. Uh, I don't know. To the victor go the spoils. No, not, no, it's not that. I know that. But uh, whatever, you know, celebrating a victor. And it's Hillsborough School, 1899. Now, this would have been the school that my mother's grandfather, uh, I think, established, taught at when he left the uh, Royal Navy because of a brother dying at sea. Uh, and came back home and set up a, a, a school for boys, and it was probably uh, naval children of uh, people in the uh, in the British Navy, or it may have been orphans. I don't know. I don't know much about it, but Hillsborough was the school, and uh, this just got passed on from my uh, grandmother to my mother to me, and uh, I have. Uh, it's disgusting that it's not clean. But uh, that's pretty nice, uh, 1899, so man, we're talking 121 years old. And that's a real solid sucker, that one. But uh, yeah, so that's my uh, Stein collection. Nothing else, I'm gonna, I'll just let you look behind. There's other stuff in there, nice little duck and so on, or a goose, whatever it is. Uh, but that's it, it was just a shorty, just trying out the new system. Uh, yeah, there's a way of avoiding the, uh, the ring light. I could shut the ring light off altogether. It's got buttons and gadgets and, uh, things you can do. Here we go. None at all. And, uh, you can still see because, uh, because I'm in a different position. I've got proper, I'm actually sitting on a bench and, uh, oh, look at that. Nice. Oop, up there. Yeah. Oh, oop. <laughs> a Nigerian batik. Uh, which is absolutely beautiful. We bought those in Nigeria. The uh, horse heads my mother collected, these things, uh, very lovely. The brasses, right? That that was just an, an English thing you collected. And uh, oh my gosh, I haven't done my Nigerian leather yet. So that'll be another episode. So Scarborough Dude, signing off, just welcoming you back. And uh, I'll see if I can do a better job uh, in future, getting these things done. Do we need the light to say goodbye? Do we need to try it out again? Whoa! We got all kinds of choices. It's absolutely wonderful. All right. See you next time. Bye for now.